Hey there, this is Newbies, and welcome back to this series about Mario Kart Tour, giving you tips and tricks, overall strategy, and gameplay walkthroughs for Mario Kart Tour. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. In this video, we'll be going over all tracks from the Vancouver Tour, where I was able to rush the top 10 world ranking, just shy of 800,000 points. I've now spent a total of $10 on the game, purchasing the Gold Pass two separate times, and am about to cancel that subscription, but first want to get the Gold Pass rewards from this fourth and last tour. I also posted updated courses for the Rosalina Cup, which is the rank cup from week one of the Vancouver Tour. In this particular tour, I was able to achieve two challenges. The first one was making it, even if briefly, to the top 10 high scores in the world. This is something you can do as well, even in free to play. So this is how I made it to the top 10 high scores in the world and how you can give yourself a chance, even in free-to-play, to make it to the global rankings and even possibly among the very top players. So whether you're doing this as a personal challenge, for fun, or for bragging rights with your friends, this is how it can be achieved. If you follow the series and some of the videos from the previous tours, you'll be aware that I started as a free-to-play player during the first four tours and was able to make it to the global rankings for top thousand scores for each of them. Now, after careful consideration, I decided I'd spend $5 for a single transaction in order to get the gold pass for a month. And I had also devised a strategy in order to double the amount of rewards that I could get from it, from a total of four tours instead of only two or three. I've now spent a total of $10 on the game, purchasing the gold pass two separate times. I posted a video on that topic, so if you're interested or considering getting the gold pass, or simply to better understand the amount of rewards you can get from it, make sure to watch that video. So we are now on the first day of the whole tour, the first few minutes in fact. It's only been a few minutes since the tour has been revealed. And because I signed up for the Gold Pass just a bit less than a month ago, I still am able to get the Gold Pass rewards and benefits from this particular tour. Now to achieve this, I've been saving up on both the Quick Tour tickets and the Star tickets, which I'll need to unlock the maximum amount of rewards. Because I was in this situation, I figured that I would try to hit two birds with one stone. And since I would be playing through all of the cups of this tour in the very first days, that I might also have a chance, even if for a very brief window, to appear in the very top high scores in the world. And there's a short window of about eight to 10 hours on the very first day of the tour, where if you play on every single cup and try to get a high score, you're very likely to make it to the top high score, which will appear in the global rankings on the next day. Simply because within that short time frame, fewer players have competed, and even fewer among them have used up quick tickets in order to go through every single track of the tour. So even as a free-to-play player, if you're just getting started, you should still be able to use this strategy to make it to the global rankings. To be clear, if you just downloaded the game and just started to play, that may not be achievable. You'll probably need to grind through the first few tours and get a good selection of items, as well as increase your overall player level, in order to help you to easily achieve a higher score. But provided that, it's definitely possible. So within that eight hour window on the first day, and keeping in mind there were 54 courses for this particular tour out of 18 cups, this means you only get a few tries per course in order to get a high score. So that's exactly what I tried out here. I also had saved up some very valuable level up item tickets, which would help me achieve a high score in this tour, even if that somewhat came at the expense of the longer term value of these items. In this case, I wanted to try that challenge of making it to the very top high scores in the world. In the end, the strategy worked out and I was able to make it into the top 10. Looking at the rankings the next day, I possibly could have made it to the top 5, and I played the tracks once more within that 8 hour window. But making it to the top 10 was nice enough and was able to briefly compete even against the very top whales, which is not what you might expect from a game which is, at the high levels, definitely pay to win. There's also a share of luck and randomness in luck, because in the end, it will also depend on how many other players have decided to adopt the same strategy. And as a free-to-play player, or someone who hasn't paid or played a lot in the game, it's just not possible to compete against the players who have. Because you only get two to three tries during that short window, it also means there's more luck involved in getting a high score on, on those tracks in the very first tries. That being said, you could continue to improve your score over the first days of the tour, and this strategy would still work to an extent. So that's it for the commentary on how to make it to the top 10 in the world, or at least get to the global rankings. It's very different, of course, if you're trying to make it to the top 1,000 high scores at the very end of the tour. 
To put things in perspective, I still had to improve the score that made it here into the top 10 in order to make it to the top 1,000 high scores at the very end of the game. Hope it helps you to achieve a high score. I've included all courses from this run in this video. Make sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and leave in the comments any other tips you might have about Mario Kart Tour. Thanks and see you soon.
So that does it. If you'd like to learn all about the general strategy and tips for Mario Kart Tour, make sure you check out the full gameplay and strategy guide. And if you like this type of video and would like to see more, please leave a comment and hit that subscribe button.